Meanwhile, Executive Director of the National Integrity Action, Professor Trevor Monroe, is calling for the publication of assets seized from persons under the Proceeds of Crime Act, POCA. Professor Monroe made the call as he addressed the, thir uh, the third High Court Judges' Sensitization Seminar on the POCA rules on Friday in St. Anne. He made reference to convicted drug kingpin Christopher Dodders Coke and how little is known about efforts to seize his assets. As a member of the Jamaican public, I should not have to make special inquiry to discover whether the drug kingpin Dudas' assets allegedly valued at $300 million have been seized. That should be somewhere. He said he has learned that only $35 million in cash belonging to Christopher Dodas Coke was seized in 2015. So this man has all of these quote-unquote assets and you don't know as a matter of course because we're not doing what the British Home, Homes, the Home Affairs Committee said, publish so that folks will be deprived of their ignorance and have the necessary information to make an informed and not a uh, foolish uh, judgment. Jamaica's national security policy outlines that persons before the court with assets garnered through criminal means must be automatically denied of those tainted assets. It further states that those assets must be forfeited if a guilty verdict is returned.